So let's have this problem. So consider this discrete probability distribution. Then to solve for the unknown or to complete the probability distribution, since one property of this discrete probability distribution that the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1, so this becomes 0. 0 0.09 then plus 0 0.22 then plus for the unknown we can use variable x then plus 0 0.20 then plus 0 0.05 and this is equal to 1 then to solve for the unknown so we have x equals 1 then minus the sum of these probabilities or the sum of these numbers. So we have 0 0.09 plus 0 0.22 then plus 0 0.20 plus 0 0.05 equals that 0 0.56. So this is 1 minus 0 0.56, then to solve for the unknown, so we have 1 minus 0 0.56, to 1 minus 0 0.56 equals that 0 0.44. So 0 0.44 is the unknown probability. Then for this given, so again, the sum of these probabilities is equal to 1. So to complete now the distribution, so we have 0 0.019 plus the unknown. So we can use variable x, then plus 0 0.352 plus 0 0.352. 0, 0, 0.08 then plus 0 0.524 then this is equal to 1 then to solve now for the unknown equals 1 minus the sum of these numbers or the sum of these probabilities so we have 0 0.019 plus 0. 352 plus 0 0.008 then plus 0 0.524 equals so that's 0 0.903 so this is 0 0.903 then to solve now for the unknown so we have 1 then minus 0 0.903 equals so that's 0 0.097. So the unknown probability is 0 0.097. Then for this given, so probabilities in fraction form, so the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1 so we have 1 over 12 then plus 1 over 3 then plus x for the unknown then plus 1 over 6 then plus 1 over 4 then this is equal to 1 so since we can only add fractions if the same denominators so in this case we're going to use the highest denominator that is 12 so this becomes 1 over 12 then plus so for this 1 over 3 to make this denominator equal to 12 so therefore times 4 so 1 times 4, this is 4, then over 3 times 4, this is 12. 
then plus, so the unknown, then plus, for this one over 6, to make this denominator equal to 12, so this is times 2, so 1 times 2, this is 2, then over 6 times 2, this is 12, then plus, to make this 1 over 4 equal to 12, so this is times 3, so 1 times 3, this is 3, then over, this one is 12, then equals 1. Then since we have now the same denominators, so we can add now all these fractions. So we have now x equals 1 minus the sum of these numbers or these probabilities. So just copy the denominator, that's 12. Then add the numerator, so we have 1 plus 4, that's 5, plus 2, that's 7, plus 3, that's 10. So this is equal to 10 over 12. Then to solve for the unknown, so we need to rewrite this 1 with denominator 12, since 1 is equal to 12 over 12, then minus 10 over 12. So since the same denominator, so just copy the denominator, that's 12, then you subtract the numerators. So 12 minus 10, that's 2, then reduce. So this is divisible by 2. So therefore, the unknown probability is 1 over 6.